Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my August plan with me in my bullet journal. Now I did start recording um, all of this uh, when it was just penciled in, but for some reason my camera cut off after three seconds, so everything's already inked in. Um, but this is the standard monthly log that I use every month because I love it. Um, I just draw out the boxes and then I have a large box for the important things on the corner. Um, as always, I'm using washi tape to decorate because it makes it look really pretty and that I can like actually draw when I can't. Once I use the washi tape I like to colour in the monthly header. I'm using the darkest red I have this month because I think it goes well with all the cocktails that I've got down the bottom. And then I go to my future log and just check for any important dates like birthdays which I will add in. Um, I colour code everything and as the boxes are quite small I put stars in and then in the important bar over on the side I will write in a more detailed description of what the stars mean. So I'm going to my sister-in-law's for just under a week and so we can go to the festival of quilts uh, over the next weekend. So next up it's my habit and mood tracker um, and again I've gone through and penciled everything in just to make um, this video quicker to film. I'm colouring in or drawing in the lines with my 15 centimetre ruler which doesn't quite reach to the end of the page so I should have got my longer one out but that ruler fits in the pencil case that I made, which is why I have it. Um, so I'm just checking what I did last month. And um, in June, yeah, in June, I didn't put the days of the week in, I just put the dates and I found that really confusing towards the end. So I'm adding in the days of the week and then I'm gonna go through and put in the actual dates as well. Once I've done that, I go through and add in all the bits that I want to track. And again, it's things like um, doing my uh, uh, moisturising routine and teeth in the morning, exercising, going to the cinema, uh, social media, not spending any money, going to work and then taking my makeup off and stuff at the end of the evening. Um, I also like tracking my moods um, and I find that really helpful and especially kind of it, it appears the busier I am at work, the happier I am. So um, I kind of like that correlation. So it's nice to track that. I haven't really liked the headers that I've done the last couple of months so I thought I'd try something different with one of my um, friction pens. Um, didn't end up loving it and I go over it with one of the um, Stabilo pens in the end just to kind of make it stand out a bit more. This month I've dropped my expenses tracker because um, it wasn't really working for me there wasn't I didn't have enough room to put in all the information that I wanted to and um, my accountants actually asked me to be a lot more detailed um, with what's going in what's going out and um, how where it's coming from and what I'm spending it on so I'm going to start another kind of um, diary for that which I can then send them um, so that my accounts are easier for them to do I've skipped that one and I've gone straight into August sewing plans. I really liked how this layout worked for me last month. I liked having um, the traced muslin cut out and sewn um, sections in there because as I was ticking those off, rather than just one final like this, this is completed, I liked seeing the progression of that and it made me feel way more productive than just like one sort of tick. So yeah. Then moving on to my weekly planner um it start this week starts on a tuesday but i forgot that and um added in a monday for my what i wore section but visually i like that anyway and um, i still like to track what i wear daily as i said before this helped me when i was blogging because if i didn't have time to take outfit photos on the day I could go back and do like a whole session of outfit photos and I do actually kind of miss blogging and I'm thinking about starting mine up again um, because I think it would work really well with some of the tutorials that I'm planning to have all the instructions uh, written down on the blog for you guys to go and reference rather than having to keep going back to certain sections of the video but that's just an idea because I already am incredibly busy and adding something else to my <laughs> plate might not be the wisest idea, but I do like the idea of that. So next we're moving on to the dailies. 
I was supposed to film this video yesterday and I didn't um, but I did have a whole bunch of stuff that I did yesterday and technically because I'd done it all already I didn't really have to write this to-do list out but again I like the fact that it starts on the first and goes through and I don't think I would have liked very much if I'd have just skipped that day because I hadn't filmed in time so yeah I'm writing down all the things that I did yesterday the other thing that I like to do as well is once I've done my to-do list and checked that all off I do kind of um, some journaling um, for the day as well especially if there's anything exciting or interesting that happened um, and I um, just add that in any blank space that's left over in the books that I've drawn so I'm planning out what I wanted to do today um, including all the YouTube videos that I wanted to film didn't quite get all of that done. In fact, I've only got the bullet journal setup done. I didn't get the Indian pattern stash done, so I'm gonna to have to do that later this week at some point. But it's still summer, so there's still lots of light when I get home from work, so that shouldn't be too bad. But I have got the bloopers edited, I have got the uh, weekly vlog edited, and I have obviously edited this video as well. This video is almost in focus as well, so you know, that's an improvement. So yeah, that's everything that I have got um, all my monthly setup um, consists of. Oh yeah, I do like to plan out weekly goals as well um, to try and give me like an overview of the things that I'm trying to achieve that week. And then migrate those over to the dailies to uh, kind of give myself sort of like more in depth of what I actually need to get done. But yeah, so this is an overview of everything that I finished today. So we've got the weekly goals, the what I wore, the next week section, and then my dailies. I tend to only draw the box in once I have completed the day, and that way I know how big the box needs to be, because sometimes they're huge, sometimes they're small. So let's have a look at what uh, July's um, layouts look like. So we've got the monthly log there. I really like this and it's nice to be able to look back and say oh the videos went up on this date or this date. I did miss a few last month but that's not the end of the world. My habit tracker and mood tracker, again as you can see I didn't have, uh, I had a really good month actually mood wise. My expense tracker did fall by the wayside. As I said with my sewing plans I really like the fact that there were all the different pieces of each or each make um, were to, there to be ticked off. It made me feel very productive. Um, having that there and I set myself some goals for July and um, yeah pretty much all of those fell completely by the wayside so I haven't done that for August probably won't do that again although I have left some space down there for a quote and I know what quote I want to put in so I will do that and then we're into the weeklies and dailies for July really didn't like this grey one it kind of looks a bit sort of boring so yeah I won't be using the grey pen again I like the black the way the black looks with the colours also the chalkboard effect um, I really like it on other people's but I think the gel pen I've got is just not very good um, so I don't think that one worked as well so probably won't do that again as you can see i uh, still having a love affair with washi tape I ended up with a really big space here which I'll probably go back and doodle in at some point if I'm bored at work which some won't really happen for the next couple of months because I'm so busy and then we're into uh, the final week of the month and that actually there was a week and then an extra Monday and I've included that on the daily spread because um, just yeah I like to keep all of July together and then we get into what I've done for August. So here is the finished August monthly log with the quote that I added and um, yeah that's pretty accurate as you probably all know. Next we have my habit and mood tracker, um, I added some washi tape in there and then August, my August sewing plans um, which I have got a few spaces left but it's another busy month as you can see and then straight into my weekly and uh, dailies. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.